right quite a few of you have been asking me uh, what I use in to rust my rails well it's called rail rust this one from rail match that's the one I use um, it's a spray spray acrylic spray type I should think if you can't get this any dark rusty color acrylic spray will do but uh, all I've done is uh, well what you do is mask off your uh, your track uh, the other side of the track rather your, your scenic part and then uh, when you're ready tin at the ready a good spray and just do this along the track it's quite easy very easy in fact got a few minutes to dry and I'll show you what I do then what I forgot to say there as well was before it dries you as well just get a cloth you can go over with the rubber later I'll get a cloth and then just wipe the top of the rails It's easy to clean with your rubber later. I can take the papers off now anyway. When it's just about dry, or wait until it's dry, just run your rubber down. Clean them rails off. And then what I do, just to put a bit of authenticism or a <laughs> bit of black into it. Yep, ordinary map back paint. Um, and just brush a bit on. See them rail, it's still wet as that, but it don't matter. That makes us in just nice then. You don't want it too black. And again when all that's dry just give it a rub down with your rubber again. And any bits where it's gone over you can always just touch up with a bit of the black paint. And I'm, I'm going to put some grass in there I'll show you the grass and some grass tufts. Just to finish it off, and I'll have to just wait while that dries now. Here's another method you can use, which sometimes probably easier. But you know the uh, weathering rust powders you can buy. What I do is just mix some in something with a bit of water. I just brush it on your rails. Uh, that's it. You can sort out later wiping off. darker colour is that but use that rust effect and having those bright shiny rails and so don't forget to wipe off the top of the rails as soon as you put it on before it dries it's come off with a rubber but it makes it hard work then I'll go over with it now you can see here where I've, I've done it with that static grass in between, I'll probably put a bit too much on. There's all that area to do yet. And there's a few of them tufts of grass there. But as I say, it, uh, with the rust on, um, track grime, you can touch up a bit. Don't know what I've done. I've, I've, got a, I've gone over there and caught some on that uh, platform edging. But do a bit more careful. I should go slower. You can see where I'm getting at there. It does look a lot better. I mean, if we turn around now and look at Here's another one I use, uh, Sleeper Grime, again by Rail Match. I've just uh, put some tape over those rails and I'm just going to spray some of this down the back there. I don't want to put too much on. Just see what that looks like now. Just 
just grade that off a bit to be careful. But I'm going to put some grass down on there as well. As you can see I've still got this site to do and of course it doesn't look anywhere near as good does it? I did put some static grass down this area but uh, I haven't done the rails or anything yet. But I'm about, uh, I would say I'm a good over halfway around now. And I'll just show you the far end now, I've done a few oh, additions down there. I've put a bonfire in down there and just about see it flickering away. I've put a light on in the farmhouse and you can see that uh, shed at the side which is that one that I showed last week uh, showing how to put polyfiller on and it's an old garage is that. Uh, just been a nice little shed at the side there, the outhouse whatever you like to call it. I've put a few more lights in houses. I've got another couple of billboards up, one there which I made myself and one there which I bought which is from our friends Layouts are for you, um, and it all looking quite nice up here now. I've got some, I got some seats from them, and also I can just zoom in. Uh, they like tires with flower flowers in. I've got a couple of those, uh, and if you're watching Matthew, I got some in houses as well. There's two of them there. I can't put, I haven't found any ends yet. It's not to work for me eggs. <laughs> a bit small though. I have to look closer to see them. Uh, yeah, I say it myself. It's looking a lot better down there now. Right, I'll, I'll run the cam truck round. I've just been uh, doing a bit with this puffer bottle around the edges here, as you can see. Uh, Removing all this, it, uh, it's disturbed it, but no idea though, it's just fill in. And then, of course, the other thing you put in between your track is the underbrush, Woodland Scenics underbrush. Uh, I use it all the time, you'll see me using it. Just want to be to that glow. It's all grassed up, is that area now, but I, I did put a bit there. Uh, where do we just put a bit on? And then put a bit of underbrush on. Again, you can get this in all different colours. And I say it looks a lot different when it's all dry. I'll show it again tomorrow now when it's when it's all dried up. These are the uh, the other box of gas tufts with the mixture in. And you've got three different colours there. As you can see, I've added one or two there. It's still wet on there, unfortunately. But uh, I'll show it when it's all dried out. Uh, where I spilt over on, I went onto that platform bit with the with that paint. I've uh, to make it easy. I use one of these. They're called puffer bottles. Gage master make them. We fill them up with your grass, put your PVA down, and you just, as it says, you puff, and you can get into the corners then, and it just just goes up that bit. I know it's not. Perfect, but sure looks a lot better anyway. These are those uh, larger um, tufts of grass in the box there. I've, I've used a few already, as you can see. But uh, they're on eBay. I don't know if you can make that out. Uh, focus now. You just about see that now, can't you? I'll say they're on eBay, uh, about £6 for a box postage paid as well. Um, I ordered these one day and they were yet four in there. Sorry, I'm lying. Took two days, but it was second class. But uh, I think they're very good for the money, they are. As you can see, that's starting to dry now. Looking a lot better already. By tomorrow, I got a bit further, but. Uh, by tomorrow, that'll look a lot better. Right, this is the result of yesterday's work. As you can see, I put some static grass down in the middle there, and those grass tufts. Now it's nearly all dried out, it's looking a lot better. I've still some to go down at the bottom end there, but uh, it certainly looks better. The one thing I did, uh, I did some video applying the static grass and uh, I mustn't have switched the camera on properly 
so it hadn't taken so I'll show a bit now for any of those who uh, have never done static grass or shown how to use applicator but uh, a lot of you will have seen me do that before but I'll, I'll do a little bit anyway but I'll just show you the difference now I'll, turn around. I'll do a bit in, in this area here and then you can see what I'm doing it's just a mixture of PVA fairly thick actually PVA and water well, there's different ways of doing with grass I have the uh, the notch static grass applicator they're a bit expensive these there's some cheaper models now um, but also I'll show you another one when I've done this but you just clip onto your rail to earth it and switch on and you just play around with it, waddle it, whatever and the grass comes out and that should stand now that's one method keep doing it another cheaper way it's another grass applicator you can get these on eBay for oh, £12, £15 again clip onto your rail to earth it, some stick a nail in and what have you but I'm assured that all you have to do is clip to your railway the battery run and as you can see again you're in a static grass and that should stand up static grass can come in all forms I used to like I like using the 67 millimeter strands and then of course the other way is that we're showing that puffer bottle you just put some grass in there and puff it out it stands up fairly well does that even and as I say it always go around with you it's air spray use a strong one put some out on afterwards and it makes it stand stand better and then of course clean bits off your track but that's that's basically it um, when that's dried it's, it'll be like that top now I say I did all that yesterday and I sure I thought the video was running but it, <laughs> the camera was running but it wasn't anyway it looks a lot better now doesn't it that's the bit we did earlier there what I did all three I used the the like tea strainer and the, the machine uh, and the blow buffer bottle I say it's all come out all right and it's, it's standing up uh, quite well I say I hope uh, it just gives you an insight to what we can be done on a railway I know you, you don't see much of that much greenery but uh, it's a model railway and I, it's what I enjoy doing anyway Phil was asking me what that is sat up there it's a command station for the Dynamis. I don't use it anymore, but uh, rather than take it down, just in case, it'll be a spare, won't it? I've got the cam truck going round now. I'll just let it go round there nice and steady, and it'll just show all this new area finished now. We'll see what it looks like.
Uh, this is more or less all dried now. Um, a bit out of sequence because, like I said, I took some video. Well, I thought I'd taken video yesterday doing certain things. I wasn't to turn the camera on. But anyway, you can all see what I've what it's like as I've finished it now. It certainly looks a lot better. Right, that's it uh, for today. I think we had a couple of days work there. And not come out too bad at all. I'll just show you that uh, static grass I just did earlier. So it's fairly dry now. Not dried up completely, but I'll just show you the effect of it. And I just hope it's uh, useful to any of the modellers who's just starting out or who. <laughs> We're never too old to learn, but I learn some of it every week. But uh, yeah, if you haven't used static grass before, it just give you an idea.